Yo, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about all things bread and gluten. Bread seems to be demonized as a very bad food for you, and people have an abnormal fear of gluten. Many companies will even label their foods as gluten-free, knowing this increases sales because people think gluten-free must be healthy, right? Let's dive into the evidence and finally destroy this myth that gluten is bad for you. First off, let's quickly look at what gluten is most people on a gluten-free diet probably can't even define what gluten is. Gluten is actually a protein found in most grains, particularly wheat. There are a lot of claims that gluten can cause excessive inflammation and poor health issues, but these claims don't have a lot of evidence behind them. In fact, most of the evidence behind bread and gluten shows it to be a positive thing, assuming you don't have the ever so rare celiac disease. So let's talk about celiac disease. Celiac disease is a legit condition. If you ever met anyone with a true celiac disease, you would know just a little bit of gluten entering their system makes them very sick. But for most people, you don't have anything to worry about as this study shows only about 0.7% of people have a true celiac disease. Still, even with these clear cut statistics, people will still make up claims of gluten sensitivity even though they don't have a true celiac disease. And when I say people make up gluten sensitivity, I'm not just trying to be mean. Research shows people actually make it up. Here's a very comprehensive review showing non-celiac gluten sensitivity isn't a real legitimate diagnosis. Here's another study showing that non-celiac gluten sensitivity is only in about 0.5% of people. This means that a non-celiac gluten sensitivity is even more rare than an actual celiac disease. So if you can eat a cracker and not get sick, you probably don't have a true non-celiac gluten sensitivity. It's still possible, but very, very unlikely. In fact, here's more research review concluding that people who claim to have a non-celiac gluten sensitivity are most likely caused by the nocebo effect. This means negative side effects happen simply because you're paranoid of potential effects that you might have read somewhere. The research also concluded there is currently no evidence that gluten causes tissue damage when consumed by people without celiac disease. So from a safety perspective, if you have the ever so rare celiac disease, you probably should avoid gluten and not eat any bread. But if you don't have celiac disease and still think you have a gluten sensitivity, again, it's possible, just very, very unlikely. From a health and weight loss perspective, no food is required to be in your diet, but the evidence does show that it's a very good idea to include gluten-containing foods into your diet. Here's a study done in 2017 showing the powerful health benefits of whole grains. This study also showed if you don't have a celiac disease, Going gluten-free is not a good idea as it may affect cardiovascular risk due to missing out on the potential benefits of whole grains. Here's a review that showed the endless benefits of wheat bran from disease prevention, digestion, weight loss, and health. Certain breads can also be very filling, which is very good for weight loss. This study comparing food satiety showed wholemeal bread and grain bread to be more filling than both brown rice and lentils, which are common substitutes for bread. This next study is another great example of how powerful bread can be, even though a lot of people like to hate on bread and gluten. This study showed that when a caloric deficit is equal, the group who included bread in their diet lost the same amount of weight while being much more compliant. The no bread group had substantially greater dropouts, meaning if you actually wanna to stick to your diet, it's a good idea to include bread in it. So to recap, going gluten-free is not a good idea unless you have a true celiac disease. If you don't, you can definitely include bread in your diet and even benefit greatly from it. That is all for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as the young kids of the internet say, Let's get this bread. I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace.